Hello, uh, my name is Dustin Schroeder and I am uh, the President and CEO of Satellite Experts. Today I'm working on one of our uh, Connected RV projects. Um, a lot of times I'll be traveling in my uh, fifth wheel, which is where I'm at today. Uh, and when I'm traveling, obviously we have rainy days, we have uh, nights where we just want to sit back and relax. and watch TV so uh, one of the popular ways that a lot of people will do this is through streaming so this video I'm going to talk a lot about streaming in your RV there's a number of different uh, hardware options that you have like the Apple TV or the uh, Amazon Fire TV or you have Roku so there's a number of different uh, options this one that I'm using is the Amazon Fire Stick and I've already went in and pre downloaded uh, the apps that we use but uh, if I did need to download any of these apps we're talking about on the screen if we go up to this little search bar we can type in whichever app that we're looking for and I'm just going to talk about some of the more popular ones that uh, people will use to stream their video service uh, before I begin I do want to make sure that uh, everyone realizes you do need a nice strong internet connection in order to make this work um, sometimes you can get that to work through uh, campground Wi-Fi, uh, but not usually. Uh, a lot of times we're going to be using our Verizon 4G service, our, our jetpack, or our router. And that's what I'm using right now is actually our 4G router to power this TV. And I'm in kind of rural Colorado right now, so it doesn't have to just be in, in the cities. I'm uh, camping kind of near Rocky Mountain National Park uh, right now where I'm shooting this video. And uh, these are the apps that, that we have for TV, the ones that are in my recently used. So I have Sling TV, um, which is an all streaming service. I have Direct TV Now. I have A Dish Anywhere, Hulu, and Netflix. So those are the apps that I'm going to discuss uh, today. I'll start with Sling TV, uh, mostly because it's one of the most popular uh, live TV uh, streaming services that there are. So we're going to open up our, our Sling television. Uh, when you first launch it, again, it's internet dependent. So it's going to be pulling from my internet here to load it up. Some of the things that I really like about Sling TV is you're actually, if you get an Air TV player, which is a product that we sell at Satellite Experts, you can also get them from Dish directly. Um, uh, because they're a partner of Slings. But you can integrate your local channels into the same guide. Um, I do not have my local channels integrated uh, here, but at home I do. In my RV I do not. But uh, you would see your local channels along with like your ESPNs and all your network programming. So if I just want to go in and, and select whichever show, we'll watch Friends. We can uh, set it for the series on through On Demand or we can just watch it live. Um, another thing that I kind of want to hit on is, let's see, for settings. This is another reason why I really like Sling TV over some of their competitors, like DirecTV Now. If you go into the settings, you can go down to your connection, and I have mine set on best, which means it's gonna use the most internet you're going to need the strongest connection but if you have a lower connection internet or if you have a limited uh, internet connection like the, your bandwidth the number of gigabytes that you can use you can actually lower down the quality and it really depends on the size of your TV but it's not super noticeable the smaller the TV is um, because I don't have the internet restrictions I keep mine on the best quality but if I didn't have unlimited internet I could lower that and and be able to watch more TV with using less data um, and that's a feature that DirecTV Now doesn't have which we'll cover here next so I'm going to exit out of my Sling TV and we'll jump into DirecTV Now. DirecTV Now is very similar to Sling TV it, it's um, obviously DirecTV launched this product and uh, again it's just loading up it's connecting to my internet and then once it connects um, you won't notice very much buffering again based off internet but uh, they do have the full guide really the settings that they have are pretty limited like even in the preferences it just uh, 
autoplay so if you're watching an episode it'll just go to the next episode so their settings aren't as good as what sling tv is but uh they do have a couple different plans um so you you can get live tv on a number of different channels so you can see some of the big ones like NBC, Nickelodeon, Disney, uh, Stars, TBS. So you can see all the different programming options that you have. Um, and those are the two big um, live TV providers. Uh, obviously, Netflix and Hulu are on-demand services. And I think a lot of people are already kind of familiar with those, so I'm not really going to get into it. Um, but uh, we do use that on ours. One thing that I do want to cover is Dish Anywhere. So if you have a Dish account uh, at home, maybe you, you have your house set up with your hopper, you can actually get this Dish Anywhere app. And I do have a separate video which I can link in here on kind of how that works. But it, it allows you to access your, your programming from home along with your DVR. So anything that you have recorded. And this is actually the way that we watch a lot of our, our network TV shows. So we can go in here and we can actually pull up our DVR from home and see everything that we have recorded and watch that right through here. So if we wanted to watch NCIS, we can just go and we can select it and we can watch it right from the TV. And this is actually connecting all the way back to Minnesota where my home DVR is. So uh, now we're streaming and I do have my setting on Dish. Uh, lower so that's why you can kind of see it's a little bit fuzzier I have it set to the lower quality uh, just because of internet connection you can increase it just like with Sling TV to a higher quality picture so uh, now the last thing I want to kind of cover is some of the programming and what what would the, this would entail I can't really get into too many of the full pricing of of these plans just because of by the time you're watching this video they could change but as of the time that i'm shooting this video dish is include the dish anywhere app is included for free if you already have dish and you have a hopper service there is no additional cost it's already factored in your dish bill and you can use this service for free you do need internet at both where your hopper location is at home and uh, where you're streaming it. It is also available on mobile, like a phone or an iPad. DirecTV Now and Sling TV both have promotions going on right now where you can get the first seven days free. Um, DirecTV Now also currently has a promotion where you can get a discount depending on which plan you have for the first three months. And if uh, you also wanted, you needed a player, like an Apple TV player, when you sign up, you can also uh, receive one of those for free if you prepay for so many months. Um, Sling TV, you can get discounts off of your um, bill. As of right now, if you prepay 10 months, you actually get a year of service. So you're getting two months for free if you prepay for a year. And they also have that same seven day trial for free, so you can actually try it. Um, I will put links to both of these down in the um, section right below the video here. And then Hulu and Netflix I feel a lot of people are already familiar with. Um, they both have plans that start right around $9, $10 a month. Uh, mostly on-demand content in there. So I hope that you guys found this streaming video helpful. And if you do have any comments, please uh, post them below or questions. And I'll try to do my best to keep up and answer those. And uh, if you need immediate assistance, feel free to call our office, 763-552-7557. Thank you and have yourself a great day.